Welcome to Lighthouse, home to rogue USEC operatives who have mastered the secrets of a recoil controlling herb, friendly scavengers on their way home from Chernobyl, and you, the Giga Chad, looking to become the richest gamer in Tarkov. Without taking too much of your time, let's talk a little about the gear. First off, in any money run, the most important thing is the space you have to actually carry the stuff out. So for that, we are going with the raid bag. If you have proper level 4, then definitely invest into that. It's usually around 70 to 100k rubles. Then I'm going with a Blackrock because it has a 2x2 slot. Another good alternative would be the TV 110 rig. It has two of these 2x2 slots and you don't have to spend money on extra armor. Also, if your strength can handle it, throw in an extra rig into your backpack. I have the MPPV rig, which will give me an extra 12 slots. Obviously, bring a decent gun as well since it's very likely you will end up having to shoot someone nice right, hopefully we get a decent spawn that's good enough obviously our goal is to get to the expansion as fast as possible so we're gonna stim up now let's cross the road here usually when i get across as soon as possible Right, so once you're approaching this area, you usually want to use a painkiller because if you do get in a fight, don't want to be standing still with a broken leg or anything. <laughs> this guy scared me. Hey, how are you? This, that's Vadim. He's my, he's my friend. So you want to scan these trees here? Obviously, without a thermal, it's a little harder. That tree line in front of me there. Like the main spot where people like to sit in. And also that hill there, including that little rock, which isn't that little. All right, so scan your surroundings. And this is why you want to be pain killed because if you're if you're crossing this beach or crossing the land bridge there and you get shot in the leg and you break your leg you're just gonna be standing there and you're gonna have to use up your stim or even worse if you don't have stim you'll you're pretty much guaranteed to be dead there all right you want to hang the left here usually And then once you reach these blocks here or whatever, there's a technical supply crate right here that we do want to loot. And the weapons crate. Or a box. I don't know why this would be in here. But it is. All right, carry on. Someone's testing out mines. Shout out to them. Check this green box here. Actually, I don't think the GK02 is worth anything, to be honest. Now. If you do hear rogues in there, it's probably best to jump over those boxes there and then go for a right hand peek on them. I rarely, I don't think I've ever seen rogues here to be honest. But it, they can spawn, so. And uh, pushing them through the door is kind of sketchy, so I would jump over the wall there. some herring so yeah there's a rare spawn on the corner of the table here pc food duffel bag and we go right here All right someone's already here yeah, 
What a gun. I feel like it might have been a scab that opened this up. Because everything seems to not be looted. It's a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Right, so when you come in through the door, you can turn right. There's a weapon box right here. And check the surfaces. Stuff can spawn here. Duffel bag right here. They talk about my one tups. My duffel bag, you come here, there's another PC. And there's a weapon box right in the corner here as well. And another PC under the table. Now when you're using... Um, take this. When you're using stims and you painkill as well, you're gonna run out of hydration real, really quickly. Fortunately, there are quite a few like hydration spawns scattered around, so you don't have to worry about it too much. We open these doors here. We already opened that. We go some milk. Toolbox in there, and then check uh, on top of the washing machine, and then I don't even know what this is. Ironing board. On top of that, there's uh, like thermites, but quite commonly you find uh, TP. TNT bricks on top of it. Then turn left. There's Intel spawn on the table. Met spawn on the ground. And on the shelves here. There's a grizzly up. I'm not gonna take the grizzly. CMS doesn't hurt. And I think then we just go upstairs. Uh, this room is all. Don't forget about this. So you got a PC, there's a rare spawn on the corner of the table right there. Actually, it's not a rare spawn, it's um, like a tech spawn. The, those safes, some of the safes are locked, but I found like uh, military cables on the, on there. Always check the window sills, like wherever you are in this building. There seems to be like window, like spawns on the window sills that are quite decent. Another scab, I think. So there's a vodka here, you can spawn like MREs and stuff. I don't think anything spawns on the shelves, but I, I still check them every time anyway. Alright, going left. This is a good spot to look at the land bridge. See if anyone's uh, showing up. These uh, corner shelves can spawn stuff, I, I believe. I'm not sure if this one particularly spawns, I don't think uh, they do, but... Still worth checking. Another weapon box. Ton of stuff on that bed. A <clears throat> uh, ton of weapon attachments on this bed, by the way. And uh, I think it's just like trash bullets on this little mattress there. Do check the ammo sometimes. Like if you find M80s, like a stack of M80s, it's just gonna be free money. So this here is the bedroom. AK the march room. So you got stuff under this or on this uh, little blanket here. St stuff can clip inside and it'll be underneath. So just make sure to scan it so you get that white dot like uh, you, like you do here with the egg. So both sides of the pig head rare spawn and both these chairs have a rare spawn as well. There's a jacket and a med crate that I do want to check. The one reason I do run a black rock is so that I can put a 2x2 two two item there. Check the bed. Nothing. Stuff in the corner here. Bed. I think that sometimes like gold chains clip into this book here. And also the window sill here. And also another good view of the bridge. If you do need to check it. And the duffel bag of course.
And, uh, of course, respawn on the bed as well. And I think that's it. I don't know if I mentioned this. And I think stuff spawns in here as well. On the ground. Then toolbox here. I saw a video once someone said that something spawns in the toilet. I can't remember what it is. And I have never found anything in the toilet, so I don't know. Might as well check it if you're there. I just personally haven't ever seen anything there. There we go, right here. Gonna paint kill up again. And we're gonna exit through this door. This thing is a beast of a gun. So, this area has a couple of loot ones. You got the toolbox here. Tool set, I'm not gonna pick that up. Check the shelves. I feel like this boat might have a spawn. I usually don't check this area to be honest. And always do the shelves as well. And I think that's about it. Usually, like when you loot these areas, you just want to check the surface. But to be honest, I, I us usually never uh, loot this. I just went there because of the scab and I might as well mention it. Why is this open as well? It's confusing. All right, through the wooden door here. There's a supply crate and a couple of jackets and some loose loot and a toolbox as well. So stuff spawns on here, on the, like the corner of this tarp and there's a toolbox here. And, and I also think there's spawns on this table here as well. Go right from here. Get like a vodka spawn on this counter. On, on this chair. There are food spawns around here. There are lots of drink, drinks spawn around this area. So we go straight upstairs. And this is another good window to look over to the bridge. Food spawns here. Uh, rare spawns inside here. You can get like rollers and gold chains and stuff like that. And then rare spawn, like Vertex says, like right between these two books here. Another drink. Like where, if you get like tech stuff in that building over there on the windowsills, like it seems like on this one you get like drinks and stuff, so. And like food in general. Some uh, weapon parts, and then there's, this, this is the conference room. Definitely get a key for this. Check these and this corner here. Got a couple of oh, a Bitcoin. It's been a while since I found a Bitcoin in raid. Nice. More drinks, weapon box. And then on top of the safe, there's a rare spawn. The sa safe itself is locked. I think I mentioned that before. As I'm making this video, there's no uh, keys for the, any of the safes on the expansion. Oh, yes, liquors as well. And we go down. Now, like, as you can see, I'm pretty much filled up with loot now. If you want it, you could leave. Well, we don't want to leave. We're going to go straight up here. Follow the pathway up. So there's sugar spawns where this, these bullets are, so you can find sugar and the, like food or drinks on the corner here. And then sugar spawns here as well on this couch. And apparently money on, on this little 
cabinet? I don't know. I don't know what that is. And the safe that you can search and then inside where this like map thing is, like I think you can find loot stuff in there as well. I haven't found anything in a couple of raids. That's why I'm in doubt, but I'm pretty sure there's loot there. And then PC underneath the table. Now, I skipped this building. There's a rooftop as well, and you can, there's a rooftop here as well, obviously. And uh, there's a weapon box there. Why is oh, there has to be someone here? Yeah, there's there's a player here somewhere. There's no way this is op all open, Basco. I don't believe it. But then again, like nothing is looted, which is weird. I'm scared. Right, uh, toolbox there. Some weapon parts. Don't think I've ever found anything decent there, to be honest. But it's good to know. Um. Sorry, guys, I'm. <laughs> this is so sketchy. It might be one of the scouts to spawn up here as well, obviously. So when you approach this area, you want to be quiet because Ivan is sleeping here. So he does not want to get wake that, woken up. The grenade box here. Always check the grenade boxes, you get impact nades. So he doesn't want you to wake him up, but if you want, you can uh, explore his cheeks. And get some juice. This is a radar uh, station key, by the way. If you have that, you can just check that as well. I think you can get like an ace set there on the table. And in the basement here, there's a moonshine vodka spawn. Like on this corner, and there's a toolbox right there. There's a rooftop here as well. I never loot this, to be honest. Uh, first of all, because this room is like my bank account, absolutely nothing in here. Not a single spawn. Ever since I figured out this this room is empty, I haven't looted it. So we can jump down here. Food here. Oh, we're gonna go up here. We get some bullet spawns, nothing special I don't think. Uh, food spawns on this, apparently ammo as well. And food and drinks here as well. Food and drinks here, food and drinks here. And I am overweight now. Okay. I have never broken my foot here, but... First time for everything, I guess. Be more careful than I was. Usually you can slide down with ease without any problems. Just make sure you have a... Make sure you have a splint with you. And that's it. Now we're just gonna get out of here. We've been in the raids for like 20 minutes now. Obviously it takes a little longer with me explaining everything. But I think you, you can be... Out in like 20 minutes if you really want. Obviously before you step outside, make sure you have full stamina. Because... You do not want to get caught out there. Make sure you're freshly painkillered up as well. Also, I'm sure I missed a few loot spots here and there, so... If you guys want to point them out in the comments, I would appreciate it. Helps me out and helps everyone else out watching this video as well. So everyone definitely check the comments. Post is clear. And you can also do this uh, row as a scav here, like our friend tried to do. Didn't work out very well for him. 
it's okay. You can't always win. You'll win the next one. All right, we want to hug the right side here as we're running away. Really bad spot to be running out of stamina, but I just don't want to waste my meal. So one thing you can do when you're out of stamina and you're not regening, you just just go prone. And as you're crawling, you will still regen stamina and you're moving forward. It's slow, but it's something. Run up here. And just go straight down the road. Kinda miss this extraction. Generally, uh, this is a very safe uh, extraction point too. I, I think I've been in a fight here like twice. Through like two wipes, so. Alright, here's everything we got from this raid. I'm gonna sell everything. We have 2.45 mil right now. I'm gonna sell everything, see how much the fee is. And then uh, we'll see how much profit we made. Alright boys, everything is finally sold. The fee, the total flea market fee was around 142,000 rubles. So let's see how much money we made just by selling stuff to flea. I still have a couple items here that I'm going to sell to traders. Sell these here as well. Three point seven now. So our total profit is. 1,259,565 rubles that is without taking into account the stims i used which would be probably 120,000 so i would say our total profit is roughly 1,120,000 or something like that thanks for watching guys hope you have an awesome day see you in the next one